Hi everyone, Andy Myers here from Ocean Watch. Uh, I just want to start by thanking you all for getting involved in the Tide to Tip Cleanup Program. This program of cleanups, driven by the Australian seafood industry, really kicked off in 2018 when local oyster farmers here in Port Stephens joined forces to undertake a large scale foreshore cleanup at Salamander Bay. With their enthusiasm, the Tide to Tip Cleanup has now evolved into an annual event. In 2020, the program of cleanups was expanded to other oyster farming waterways across New South Wales, Queensland and the Northern Territory, involving close to 250 people across 19 oyster, oyster producing areas. 12 tonnes of rubbish was removed from our coastal waters through the 2020 cleanup program. As most of us who work in the marine environment know, marine litter is not only an eyesore, but it can cause significant harm to coastal ecosystems. It can physically harm or kill marine life through entanglement and ingestion. It can degrade the condition of our coastal waterways through the leaching of chemicals. Sharp objects such as glass, syringes and torn cans also present a significant physical risk to coastal residents and holiday makers. It also impacts the enjoyment of our natural spaces. This year, the tidy tip cleanups are taking place across multiple states and would not be possible without local farmers taking a lead role. Each waterway has a local cleanup coordinator who is kindly working with Ocean Watch to make these cleanups possible. Likewise, each cleanup event also has a designated first aid person who will be carrying a small first aid kit. Please be aware who your cleanup coordinator and first aid personnel are and follow their instructions throughout the day. To simplify their role, this video will now cover some of the health and safety as aspects of the cleanup to ensure your safe participation. The aspects covered are fairly generic and I encourage you to consider issues and conditions that are present in your waterway on the day of the cleanup. It can get really hot out here, so make sure you protect yourself. Wear a wide brim hat, plenty of sunscreen and drink a lot of water. It might not be too bad in the shed. In the mangroves, it might be a lot different. It's best, uh, you've probably got a lot of uh, mozzies and sandflies to deal with, so some reed and air regard would be really good. Layer it on, and uh, if you can, long sleeve shirt and trousers would be really good. You might have led a feet of favorite pair of luggers, but they are not good for cleanups. Protect your feet by wearing closed shoes at all times and watch where you're going. Depending on where you're cleaning up, gum boots or waders may be the goal. You're likely to come across broken glass and other sharp stuff during your cleanup. Make sure you're wearing gloves when handling any litter that you find. If you come across anything you suspect as asbestos, don't touch it and report it to the New South Wales Environmental Protection Authority on 13 15 55. Each cleanup has also been provided with a medical sharps container and a guide on how to handle medical waste. Only the person with the sharps container and knowledge of how to handle needles should touch these sharps. If this is not you, please do not touch the syringes and let the appropriate person know the location of this hazard. In the unlikely event of a needle stick injury, please advise your cleanup coordinator as soon as possible. Wash the site with running water and obtain prompt medical advice from a local doctor or hospital emergency. At some sites, you may come across dumped tyres or other heavy items. Be careful, they could be full of sand, mud or water. So when you're lifting, make sure you bend your knees, straighten your back and lift. And if too heavy, make sure you get somebody else to help you. Only those with the appropriate qualifications and experience are to be in control of vessels on cleanup day. Please make sure that the punts have all the necessary safety equipment and that boats are operated in accordance with regulations. As a passenger on the punt, make sure you follow the instructions of your captain at all times. Soap is provided in each cleanup kit. Please wash your hands when you return to your cleanup staging area. We also need to consider COVID guidelines. If you have visited a COVID hotspot recently or are feeling ill, 
please do not participate in the event. Go home and get yourself tested. The New South Wales Government currently recommends physical distancing of 1.5 metres. The regular use of hand sanitizer and to avoid mingling in group in a group of 10 or more. Hand sanitizer is provided in your cleanup pack. Look for it at your registration desk. If the weather looks dicey or you think it's unsafe to proceed with the cleanup, please talk with the coordinator and Ocean Watch staff. Your safety is a top priority and the cleanup may be delayed to another day. Please make sure you have the contact details of both your cleanup coordinator and nominated first aid person. Report any incidents and please stay safe. Watch this video. Please read the safety sheet provided and make sure you sign on as a volunteer. This is important for insurance purposes and lets us record how many people are actually getting involved in the cleanups. Consider the local conditions and risks that might be present in your waterway and discuss these with your coordinator. Work out the best places to target, how you're going to split your resources and when you'll be expected to return to the cleanup staging area. Also, please remember to sign out when you finish up, just so the coordinator knows everyone is accounted for. Please take photos throughout the event and share your involvement. While Tide to Tip is about improving your local environment, it's also about demonstrating the value that the oyster industry places on a healthy waterway. It's a story that deserves to be shared. Make sure you tag Ocean Watch in your story with an at or a hashtag. Research by the CSIRO indicates that about 75% of rubbish found along the Australian coast is plastic most of which is from Australian sources, not overseas. As you would expect, debris is more highly concentrated around major cities, with estimates from the UN Environment Program indicating that 80% of marine litter originates from land and is carried to the coast by wind and the stormwater system following rainfall. We all know that plastic is essential for modern life. It is also an integral part of oyster cultivation. To date, lost or discarded oyster farming gear has only made up a very small percentage of rubbish, rubbish collected in the cleanups. It's important that we continue to demonstrate the value that the oyster industry places on a healthy environment and recognise the responsibility that comes with working in a public space. To ensure that the industry continues to operate with the support of the community, farmers should look to maintain all leases in a good condition, make efforts to recover infrastructure following storms, and other damage, dispose of your waste in a responsible way. More information on the way the industry's commitment to environmental and sustainable practices is available in the New South Wales Oyster Industry Sustainable Aquaculture Strategy, also known as OISIS.